Hello YouTube, welcome to the Coglipity channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a transition from a gaucho knot to a pineapple knot. for me to do this video um, but a little bit of warning um, you, this is a very advanced technique um, you have to know how to tie a turtle knot you have to know how to tie a gaucho knot and you have to know how to tie a pineapple knot so if you have tick all of those boxes uh, we can begin. So, I've prepared here uh, a 13 lead 4x turtle set knot, which is essentially a long turtle set knot. Uh, you wrap it, you start by wrapping it around twice on the mandrel, so twice on the mandrel, and then, uh, yeah, and from here we're gonna start by first um, dividing this into two sections so the bottom bit is going to be our gaucho and the top bit is gonna be our uh, pineapple knot so I've already counted the number of leads uh, it's 13 so uh, along this track there are 13 uh, strands that runs at a right angle to the track so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so 13 lead uh, and what you want to do is to determine where you're going to transition from the gaucho knot to the pineapple knot and I've selected a number seven uh, but actually you can um, split this into like you know five and then eight so, uh, or you can you know even do it like um, nine and then you know, have the last four be a pineapple knot. It's really, it's really up to you. Uh, so I am stuck with seven. So I've decided to seven. To make your gaucho, you fall, you follow the lead strand. The lead strand is gonna be on your right. So follow the right, and remember to count. And that's one, and that's two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And then, once you get the seven, you want to transition. So earlier you were following the right side, and now you want to follow the left side. Because totally changing the sequence. So here you go under. Over under over under and then 
finally over here. Right. Okay. Since we exit with an over, you want to re-enter with an over. So follow this byte and re-enter with an over. Okay. Now, going up, you have to count, but going down, you don't need to count your um, the number of we that you did yet that you do, but you do need to know you do need to know that on the pineapple section, you want to split these two chords together. You just want to split. So the second color is going to be on top of the first color, right? And on the gaucho section, the second color is going to be below the first color. So you want to split this by going over the first color and then over the second color and then under. So over two, under one. Just remember, going down, gauchos and pineapples are split differently. That's all you need to remember when you're going down. Okay? Now, you've come to the gaucho section of this knot. Remember, you have to split these pair, these two strands together, so you go over this color, over this, under the second color, and then under, this, under the first color. So, under two. So, again, tell you the difference, you group the first color, second color together like this and then for the gau for the gaucho it's second color, first color. Okay, just continue. Two. Okay. Right. Again, over one, under two, right here. Okay. Okay. Okay, since we... Uh, remember, this is the gaucho section. For the gaucho, uh, if you exit with an over, you re-enter with an under. And then, like I said before, going up, you need to do your counting. And that's already one, and we want to count to seven. So that's one, two, three. You split this, and that's four. So that counts as one, four, and then five. Six, seven. Great. That's great. Okay, now it's time to transition there. Alright, now you transition. You've been following the right strand, and now you want to follow the left strand. But we also want to split this one by going under two. Just practice and practice and practice, and you'll get the hang of it. This is actually a good way to learn 
the difference on how gaucho knots and pineapple knots are tied. We go under to there. And we go over around this plate and re-enter with an over two. Now I do have to say that you only need to count going up and you only need to count uh, up to that transition point. Okay. Okay, we're still doing the uh, pineapple, so first color, second color. You just have to know what knot you're tying. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, you can see here the sharp contrast on. This is the pineapple section, and this is the gaucho section. So we want to split uh, this first. We're going over to under one, and then going over one, under two, right here. Over one under two again under one uh, over one under two okay now here's an interesting problem that we have to address because the transition knot uh, because you've been changing the sequence it doesn't exactly line up so what you have to do here is just go underneath the working strand a little bit, cheat a little bit, yeah, and then go under two over here. Now, since you're going up, again, we have to count to seven that's our transition point so that it counts as one two three and the two on the third count three four five and the two here and the two on the on the fifth weave six and seven Okay, we've been following the right strand and now we want to follow the left strand so you go under one here. Okay. See, this is so simple. If you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, so you've counted all the way to your transition point, you don't really need to count again. Okay, under one over two, under one, and then over two. Okay, All right, when you encounter the, this situation right here, you go under one. Under one, over one, under two. Okay, doing the pineapple section here. Okay, under two, over two, under two. All right, now. Encounter this kind of situation. What do you do? Well, 
you just simply go over one, under one, over two, under two. Over two, under one, over two, under two, and then over two. Great. There you gotta go. Over two, and under two, sorry. Two, over one. Under two, over two, under two, on, whoops, don't forget the count, don't forget the count, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And the seventh weave, that's an under two. Now, you transition, but you also have to split this, so you go another under two. So essentially, what you did just back there, you went under four. Okay, splitting this one. Under two here, over two here, under one here. Okay, and it's just over two, under two, okay, over two, under two. Over two, under one, one, over two, under two, over two, under two, whoops, over two. Under two, and finally over two, right here. And you finish it off by going here. Maybe, maybe over. Uh, yeah, that's good. So it's uh, top. All right, cool. There you go. And that's how you transition. You got your beautiful pineapple uh, gaucho knot here. You got your beautiful pineapple knot here. And it's being separated by these. You got a nice separation here with the first color. Yeah, that's it. I just want to show you that you can transition how many times you like. I'm just doing like one transition right here using uh, same method. You can transition like twice. You have like for example from the gaucho knot to the pineapple knot and then back to the gaucho knot again and in this this is like one of my early attempts at this technique. You can see that there's um, a total of six transitions, so seven knots, so four uh, gaucho knots and three pineapple knot. For this one, you just need to count all the way to seven, but for this one, for example, this one uh, started out as a 93 lead four bite uh, long turk set knot. So you kind of have to count all the way to 31 
31 and then you have to count again to 31 and then fine and then you have to go back and split uh, the pineapple and the gaucho so, hope you enjoy see you next time